Dropped out, and Darius back in the race. Who's next for the chop? Scylla sent Joe and Benedict to Malta. I just felt sick. Rude, disrespectful. You're not going to be bothered seeing him again. With a millionaire double bill, there are two chances to win a cool million. Somebody say cut! Dennis Norton with the best outtakes. Hello. I've got the wrong number, sorry. Saturday night on ITV1. The latest central news. The flash of the steel blade spells trouble for the enemies of freedom and justice. Now on BBC One, in the big movie premiere, The Mask of Zorro. It's the classic western Rancho Notorious, starring Marlena Dietrich and being shown to mark the 100th anniversary of her birth. That's in 20 minutes on BBC Knowledge. And here on BBC One, it's movie action, Stakeout, at 11.40. Harrison didn't like me. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Sometimes he looked genuinely scared. <laughs> he was not.
just a regular day, just a regular life, not such a regular Joe. This is Joe. Love is passion, obsession. If you haven't tried, you haven't lived. And who are you? Who is Joe Black? <coughs> Anthony Hopkins. God damn it, what's going on here? And Brad Pitt. Lightning could strike. Star in the network premiere. Am I going to die? Meet Joe Black. Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. He's got attitude. Now I'm here for the nappy ad. Are you the very smugly? She's got standards. You do not smoke hair. You do not see the sun. And he's irresistible. Ho, ho, ho. Mrs. Johnson. Let me show her present in your stuff. And second thoughts. I got such a big present for you. You better hang up your door, Baker. They're all Lenny Henry in pieces tomorrow at 9.30 on BBC One. If I could just stuff your turkey, I'll let you pull my cracker. And this is BBC One. Aspiring comedian, sketch writer or animator and want to enter the BBC New Comedy Awards, send a stamped address envelope to BBC New Comedy Awards 2002, BBC TV Centre, Wood Lane, London, W12 7RJ or log on to our website www.bbc.co.uk forward slash talent. BBC Choice, first with the good stuff. First with Johnny Vaughan tonight. Thank you very much. Everyone's talking about it. First with comedy and new shooting stars. And in the return of fun at the funeral parlour. Pull yourself together, man. She was only a wife. First with high stakes in You Come Fly With Me. Sally just got a lot hotter. With high drama when the lads battle with bachelorhood. I'm pregnant. Excuse me? And first to lift the lid on um, toilets. If it's first you want, then they're on BBC Choice from January. BBC Choice, the last word on first. For information on how to get BBC Choice, call us on 08700 100 789 or go online at bbc.co.uk slash digital. This is BBC One with film comedy a few minutes away after the weather view from Michael Fish. Hello there, a lot more wintry weather to come, although I think the end is in sight. We're not alone. Europe as well is having some very cold weather at the moment. Even Spain, minus 10 degrees, minus 19 degrees there in St. Petersburg. And St. Petersburg stayed at minus 11 right the way through the day, and Oslo was a little bit colder. We are going to see that cold, wintry weather persisting in many parts of Europe in the next few days. Now, this area of low pressure is going to move into those northern parts of Europe. That's what gave the blizzard conditions, 80 mile an hour winds and all the snow earlier on across the north of Scotland. That's going to give some very windy weather and very snowy weather across many parts of Europe. And throughout the weekend, I think it stays very wintry, often windy and often snowy. The Mediterranean, too, is going to get some unsettled weather as that particular weather front moves down into the weekend. Mind you, if you think we've had a lot of snow in the British Isles, spare a thought for the people of Buffalo in New York State. They've had six feet of snow there since Christmas and hardly any before that. And it does look as if around the area of the Great Lakes and Buffalo itself, there will be even more snow coming along during the next few days, some of it quite heavy as well. As far as we're concerned, we're going to see a change taking place very gradually. Not to begin with, we're going to keep these cold northwesterly winds bringing in some further snow showers. Eventually the high pressure slips across the country, the snow showers die out, but the frost get harder, and then as the high travels on its way, it will eventually allow some southwesterly winds to come along, and that means to say it will turn milder. But a lot more nights yet of really hard frost just about across the whole country, and then come sort of the middle of next week, it does turn a lot milder 
and we see the back of the frost. For the rest of the night, though, it's a frosty scene virtually everywhere. Around the western and southern coast, temperatures above freezing, but generally two across the south, because there it's clouding over, and we're going to find rain, sleet and snow moving across from the west. So don't be surprised if you're well inland from the south coast, you wake up to find a covering of snow in the morning. That's that little area of low pressure there. It'll move out of the way. We start off with the rain, sleet and snow clearing away during the course of the day. Brighter conditions with some sunshine coming down.